factorization and prime numbers. Zoe has to factorize the number 6, and she doesn't know how to do it. So she's going to ask Otto for help. Otto told her that factorizing is writing a number as a multiplication. He's going to explain how to do it by dividing with the help of this table. Since Zoe has to factorize the number 6, Otto needs 6 balls. First, he needs to share between 1. And he finds the first multiplication that gives 6. 1 multiplied by 6. Any number multiplied by 1 gives the same number as a result. Now Otto wants to find another multiplication that gives 6. To do it, he tries dividing the 6 balls by 2. Great! He shared the 6 balls between 2, and there were none left over. So he's found another multiplication that gives 6. 2 multiplied by 3. Otto has factorized 6 into 1 multiplied by 6 and 2 multiplied by 3. We can see that factorizing a number is the same as decomposing a multiplication. It's called factorizing because the numbers that make up a multiplication are the factors of the multiplication. The factors of the number 6 are 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Now try it with the number 8. You already have the first factors, because any number multiplied by 1 always gives that number as a result. Look for another multiplication that gives a result of 8. You can use the table to help you. Okay, let's try. So let's try to divide 8 between 2. Alright, great. So we do have 4 times 2 equals 8. So there are another set of factors. Awesome! The factors of the number 8 are 1, 8, 2, and 4. Now that she understands how to do it, Zoe is going to factorize the number 12. Go Zoe! She already knows that 1 and 12 are factors. So now she's going to try and find another multiplication that gives 12 by dividing the 12 balls by 2. She's done it! 12 is equal to 2 multiplied by 6. Now she's going to try it with 3. Another one! Finding factors is like decomposing a number or breaking it into two parts. 12 is equal to multiplying 3 by 4. Zoe tries with the 4, which also gives 12. 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12. Oops! Are the factors repeated in these two multiplications? Yeah, I would say so. 3 times 4 equals 12, and 4 times 3 equals 12. They're the same. When the factors start repeating, it means that we've found them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are the factors of 12. Zoe has realized that 12, just like 6 and 8, can be factorized in different ways. 12 multiplied by 1, 2 multiplied by 6, 3 multiplied by 4. Does the same happen with all numbers? Mm, I, I think so. Let's find out by finding the factors of the number 5. We already know that 1 multiplied by 5 gives us 5. Let's try and divide 5 by 2. Move the counter to the number 2. Okay, let's try. Let's move the counter. Oops! There's one left over. Is there any other combination of numbers that gives a result of 5 when multiplied? If you want, you can use the table to help you find out. In this case, I don't think so, but let's just try one more time with 3. Let's see what happens. Look, there are some balls left over. No, so there aren't any com other combinations for this number. Great! It doesn't have any more factors than 1 and itself, in this case, 5. The numbers that only have one factorization are called prime numbers. The first prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 
17, and the numbers that have more than one factorization are called composite numbers, like 6, 8, and 12. To finish, let's decide whether these numbers are prime or composite. Place each number on the correct board. 7. So I think 7 only has one factorization, so the number is 1 and 7. So it's a prime number. 8. So we did this one before, so we know that this one has more than one factorization. It's 1 and 8, and 2 and 4, so it's a composite number. Number 21. So one factorization is 1 and 21. I also know that 7 and 3 uh, gives you 21, so that it's at least more than one factorization, so it's a composite number. 45, that one's also composite. It has more than one factorization. 45 and 1, and 5 and 9. So let's move it to the composite side. And 41, I'm pretty sure that's a prime number. It only has one factorization. 1 and 41. Great! Now you know what a prime number is and how to factorize. Let's go over what we've learned. Factorizing a number is decomposing it in a multiplication which gives as a result the same number. And prime numbers are the numbers that only have one factorization because they are only divisible by one and themselves. Now keep practicing.